All right, so let's talk about uh, the first week well, in the NFL, minus, of course, Monday, because I'm recording this uh, well, early Monday morning. Um, first of all, let's start off with the Tom Brady injury. I obviously feel bad for Tom Brady. Um, I can't say that I feel bad for what the outcome of uh, the AFC East will be. I have two teams that I root for in the AFC East, the Buffalo Bills and with Bob now being a Jet, the New York Jets. And all of a sudden, um, both of the chances of going to the playoffs has increased extremely. Um, before I would say that one team would be lucky, or one of my two teams would be lucky to uh, make the playoffs. And now I would say that uh, both of it, both of them stand an equally good chance of making the playoffs. One is uh, the AFC East team, and one is a uh, wild card team. Um, New England, even without Tom Brady for the entire game, did manage to win seventeen to ten. Um, according to NFL.com, they're reporting that Tom Brady is probably going to be out for the rest of the season. Um, for all of these games, I didn't actually get to see them because I was working. Um, so I was, I did get to see a few, like literally one, two, maybe three plays from the Buffalo Bills going into the break room. But that really was the extent of um, actual gameplay that I did see. Um, So yeah, New England, New England 17, Kansas City 10. Apparently, New England is uh, bringing in a player to uh, try out for the quarterback position. I can't think of, remember his name, quite frankly, because I don't care um, at the moment. Uh, so let's go on. Brett Favre. Um, obviously, this game I was paying the most attention to on my... Uh, iPod at work. Um, again, I didn't get to watch the game, so I was very confused on why they went for a two-point conversion when they were winning by six points. Later to find out, the uh, field goal kicker was injured, so obviously that makes a little bit of sense. Um, as Brett Favre said, uh, he wasn't going to kick the ball. <laughs> um, the Jets did manage in a uh, nail biter at the end to win the game 20 to 14 after um, the Dolphins were driving uh, down the field. Uh, Pennington threw a interception and that was the end of the game there with 13-8 uh, uh, something like that. Um, seconds left on the clock obviously not any time for the Dolphins to do anything. Um, the Colts, I'm going to skip that because that's actually further down again on the list. Um, the Buffalo Bills didn't get to see the game, but they tore apart the Seahawks 34 to 10. Um, this makes me feel good for two reasons. A, I live in Rochester, so I'm working. Buffalo Bill fan by default, and B, I don't like the Seahawks. Um, I guess it goes back to Hasselbeck's, um, how do we say his name, um, comments at one point, they were playing the Green Bay Packers, and it was a tie, and they flipped the coin, and he said, well, they won the toss, and he said, uh, we're going to take the ball and we're going to win. Needless to say, against Brett Favre, they didn't win the game. Um, so that's why I don't like <laughs> Um Chicago and the Colts. Um, once again, I like Manning. So it's not anything against the team or the players on the team. In fact, I like Dungy and, uh, you know... 
There's really nothing to dislike about the Indianapolis Colts, except for they play in the AFC. And uh, my uh, I have two teams that play in the AFC. So any team that in the AFC that's not the uh, Jets or the Buffalo Bills that isn't winning games, that's good for me. So they lost 13 to 29. Feel bad for the Colts because um, I I would like to cheer for them, but I'm not going to. Um, Dallas against Cleveland, they won 28 to 10. Um, in the same way that I don't want the Colts to win, I don't want Dallas to win because they're a NFC team, and I root for the Green Bay Packers. Obviously, Dallas is a very good team. So, the more games they lose, the better, because they're going to win quite a few games. Um, Packers vs. Vikings is tomorrow, Monday, actually today, Monday. Um, there's actually two Monday night games, the Packers vs. the Vikings, which in itself is going to be a great game. Um, the Broncos and the Raiders is also on Monday. I don't care about that game. I actually do have two co-workers, one next to Raiders and one next to Broncos, so Tuesday should be interesting. Oh wait, I don't work, thank God. Um, interesting enough, they have a 10.15 p.m. kickoff game. Quite a late game. Um, so that's going to be that, all in under seven minutes.